people asking about my 79 Toyota pickup and basically just wanted to walk around of it so I figured might as well. So the 3.4 was uh, the factory engine out of my old rig but with the factory wiring it never ran really well so I did a standalone on it. Um, basically the standalone is pretty simple it runs off the crank sensor it runs off a uh, wide band sensor air intake temp the throttle position sensor the ejectors and then I run three RZ coil back so basically all of the all the components are GM um, besides the crank sensor and the throttle position sensor just to keep it easier for tuning purposes uh, the three RZ coil packs are, are logic level coil packs so you, you could I'm running three of those instead of running the, the factory style with the separate control box simple is what my goal was for it and it runs separate of any body harness there's actually no body harness on it right now uh, runs off like 15 wires or so and uh, you can tune it and everything yourself front axle data 60 kingpin ARB air locker 538 gears with 35 spline shafts uh, built my own high steer for it it's on 40 inch neato stickies it's got the battleborn beadlocks and I made my own rings for it uh, with the help from a buddy and then the frame uh, there's no really stock anything left on this truck, but the frame if it were a Factory frame it's up about four and a half inches and then I moved the engine up four and a half inches and back three inches We had a custom firewall which you can't really see um, Both sides so I cut about nine inches off the side and then the center section of the frames also um, Just two by four three sixteen square tube the fronts two by three three link in the front four link in the rear uh, the rear from where the links mount back is all tube. The body panels are all easily removable, so when I do hard stuff, I just take them off. Um, rear axle is 14 bolt with also an ARB stock shafts. It works pretty well. And then I made my own truss for it. I wanted the zero departure angle, so I, I brought all this in from my previous build. 20 gallon fuel cell, some simple storage, battery that's easy to get to because I, like, I need it to use my welder a lot. 16 inch rad flow coilovers front and rear. Let's see. Uh, cut the back of the cab out to run a five seater. Uh, I had the seats already, plus I got, I wanted to have extra seats. The interior, uh, super simple. The doors ain't got no panels on them, not finished yet, but custom dash. I was trying to shoot for the old school Toyota logo. I think it turned out pretty cool. It's super simple. And then I have a couple gauges to oil pressure, water temperature gas level a start switch and button um, so it's just super simple no key air lockers lights and that's pretty much it for that uh five speed transmission r150 out of a second gen forerunner then i have a gear driven reduction box with 228 uh, 23 spline marlin comp gears and a dana 300 behind that the dana 300 has four to ones from lomax it has 32 spline outputs front and rear with uh, twin sticks so I can do front or rear wheel drive and then I have a little Drifty handle. I have a brake handle so I can do front digs and actually use the front dig So I'm just running the Toyota IFS steering box with hydro assist super simple Just drill and tap for lines and then I have the trail gear ram 8 inch for the, the one ton axle And then I have a trail gear pump as well and a PSC reservoir with the cooler for it um, Works really well 